Hey guys, uh, my name is Paul and I own an ugly motel. Here's the outside looking at. So over the last six and a half years, we've gone through and re replaced portions of this hotel and made little pieces look pretty. But it hasn't stopped the fact that it's an ugly motel. So, give you a quick tour of what all we've done and where we're going. An old restaurant here that we used to have open. Tried running it for a little bit. After I sold it, it didn't really work out. At some point, we'll put somebody back in there. Here's a little speakeasy bar looking thing. Again, it used to be the poppin' place back in the day, I guess. I used to do comedy clubs in here when I ran the bar. But, just haven't wanted to deal with finding a tenant for it. So this property used to be a holodome. It's massive, but now it's pretty much awkward. Did a small little arcade thing here. We have a massive ballroom. And no AC to speak of. <laughs> I don't know if people in the 80s were just a lot more hardy or what, but um, it also used to have a massive pool that I have spent over $30,000 trying to repair. And at this point, I'm ready to just give up on it. Um, we've gone through, we've done some minor renovations, replaced the carpet that now looks aged and ugly. We've gone through and we've painted all the uh, railings and whatnot. The most important thing we've done is we've replaced the boiler and chiller system with these P-TECs, which also now add to the heat problem inside this dome because all the exhaust from the PTAC units, well, they come out here. So, long-term plan, not 100% sure for that. Gotta do a lot of research. Again, you can see a lot of the stains on my carpet. I got, JCPenney went out of business, so I bought a bunch of their carpet, and unfortunately, the stains don't actually come out that easy. Um, waste of 10 grand right there. So, what else do we got? We got old-fashioned putt-putt golf thing, which is kind of cool. We have a workout room inside of like a Pizza Hut building. One of my older games that's broken and I need to just throw it away. Got like 114 rooms, but only 70 of them are rentable. And even that is a questionable statement. The, uh, the rooms have seen a lot of wear and tear and they need to be completely renovated. Okay, so here's one of our hotel rooms. So this is one of our nicer rooms, but it's still very outdated. It's got the 1990s countertops. It's got the old fashioned, well, I guess it's got the surround thing, you know. It's got PTAC in it and microwave and stuff. It's got a lot of little things that need to happen to it. Um, and we're hoping to get all of our rooms looking nice and obviously a new paint. And, better curtains. Everybody hates my curtains. And uh, new furniture at some point here in the next few months. So, a lot of cool things coming. Um, got a long way to go. Finally, I have a guest laundry that we, we added on, which I thought was kind of a nifty thing. For long-term guests, having extra laundry units is pretty useful to them. Anyhow, so this is my ancient ugly motel and over the next couple of months we'll be renovating it. Um, I guess I should point out the one big thing that we're going to be doing first. Phase one is going to be this massive, oh we've got a little park area back here. Phase one is going to be this massive building in the back. We call it our annex building, if you can see it. Um, that's where we usually put all of our long-term guests and uh, the goal here is to get that up before September 1st, renovated and looking nice and up to city inspection standards and make sure it's you know safe and habitable for everybody. Um, so my thought is, if we're going to be doing all this work anyway, might as well document it, um, put it into a channel, maybe people are interested in it. Um, I know when I first started off, I used to look for anybody that had any information on how to renovate an old hotel. So many lessons learned that 
you know, I could have avoided so many mistakes if somebody else had posted something. So, hoping that this helps somebody out there who is insane at 25 and decides to buy a hotel. Um, it's not the same as a house. Okay, so a better closer look of the annex. We got this nice, like three acre piece of green space. And right behind it, we have this extremely ugly looking building. So, the thing here is it needs siding, obviously. Couldn't decide on what kind of site I wanted to do for the longest time. The railings uh, were a, an ugly temporary fix that we wanted to do just to make sure we met code for a while and uh, I'll be replacing those rather than trying to do that same lattice situation. We'll be replacing them with something a lot more durable, sturdy, and pretty. Um, another thing that I'll have to kind of do in steps, unfortunately, uh, just because of budgets, uh, we've been renovating these rooms, getting rid of the giant glass piece and putting in little windows, and I'm trying not to get other people's license plates in the, in the uh, shot here, but... Um, yeah, so we'll be putting up a new siding on the outside, new railing, and uh, this fall hopefully we'll be putting up the new roof. I'm hoping it'll go sooner than that, hopefully by the end of summer. Um, the roof is uh, an issue that basically a uh, hailstorm started uh, poking uh, little holes in it this last year, and uh, yeah, it's been kind of fun since then. So Again, so this is the annex building. This will be the building we focus on for project number one, trying to make it look pretty. Again, here's my before. Um, let's see if I can do the rest of it without getting people's license plates in it. Uh, okay. It's massive. Uh, we decided it's going to take, I think we said 400 uh, linear feet of railing to um, get this done. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that's really hard with commercial. Anytime anything breaks, you know, or anything needs to be in improved, it's not just a quick thousand dollar fix or something that normally with a house you know would, would would not be the greatest but you can afford and do everything here is going to cost in the tens of thousands of dollars um, some upgrades we've done to this thing recently we put in a new high energy efficiency uh, hot water heater over the last seven years uh, when I bought the hotel this building was condemned we've renovated and since then we had 12 rooms that um, unfortunately when you have a lot of long terms inside of the rooms they, they take a lot of wear and tear just like a rental property um, and that means that they have to be renovated more frequently. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that need to happen. It needs a full refresh. Um, and obviously, building safe to come through, make sure that our plugs are working, that our, uh, our water's not dripping, that we don't have bug issues. Um, so, so the question I'm gonna get is, why the heck am I doing this in the middle of COVID-19, in the middle of Rony Rona? And the answer is, um, it's been a project that's been needed to happen for quite a long time. Um, what's basically happened is something gets fixed, something breaks, we go to fix it, something else. We're, we're playing this catch-up game nonstop, and the city's tired of it. They get complaints, and they're like, you know, just get it all fixed real quick. We'll, we'll go through and do an inspection. We'll get it back up to par, and then it'll be a lot easier to maintain, and we're not having to, you know, jeopardize people. We're not having to have people go inside of a room that is not ready for hospitality. Um, and hopefully then all of our rooms will look the same so that way guests that are staying the night aren't getting you know one really good room or the next time they stay it's going to be a really bad room you know um unfortunately i've had that issue in the past and we're really booked um, i try to put everybody in a renovated room we're having a busy night for some reason um somebody's gonna get an unrenovated room and we usually try to tell them say hey look this room has uh not been renovated yet it's uh it is what it is i'll give you a discount um, but that's not the way to operate. That's not the way to get people happy with things. It's not the way to um, You know build trust in the community. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, Get on to the next step and make it look pretty and, and uh, Rebuild the faith in, in this hotel. Again, it's an ugly hotel that hopefully very soon will not be